Hello and welcome to Minecraft. This is that redstone guy coming to you with a tutorial. I'm going to show you why you may never need to use powered rails again. Now I know what you're thinking, there's a bunch of powered rails right here. Well, when I later when I show you how to build a minecart setup, you will not need to use more than about three powered rails per station. And the stations can be as far apart as you want them to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hop in this cart here and face the direction that I want to go and hit the back key. It'll take me in that direction until I reach the next minecart station. Unless you hit an animal. And you probably don't want that. This is just another example of how Minecraft, uh, Minecraft always throws you a curveball. So, I'm going to get o over to the tutorial now and uh, show you how to build this. So, as you can see, I've already filmed this several times. I've messed up several times. So, what you're, you're going to want to start out by doing is um, creating a T in the ground and placing a redstone torch along with three powered rails. What you're then going to want to do is, I'm actually kind of making this up on the fly right now because I've never made it without powered rails on uh, for each more than three powered rails without more than three powered rails per station. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come up like this. And go up three like that. I'll come out three. And I'll go down. Here. Whoops, wrong button. So in case you're wondering what mod that was there, that is not too many items. I'm using the mod Not Enough Items. You can ignore the way the buttons look though, because that's a glitch. So I'm going to put a block on top of the redstone torch, whoops, and come up another two. Come out three, and on this side I'm going to come around from the middle block here. And on this side I'm going to come from this position. So there's one on the left, two on the right. Do note that whenever you're coming into one of these stations there are bugs and I've been flung backwards back along my minecart tra uh, trail for a few blocks before. So this is not bugless. And actually relies on the on a bug in Minecraft, so will not stay here forever. Utilize it while you can. Whoops. This, both of these intersections need to be facing outwards. So now I'm going to just set this up as a loop.
So now, what you'll want to do is grab uh, three minecarts and push them up and around into your station. It is best if it is best if you try and use both sides just to make sure that they both work. You will sometimes have bugs like this. I suggest removing the minecart and not trying to push it in farther. So what you might want to do is add one more powered rail necessary and make this block into one so you don't have bugs like that. And in order to remove, in, in order to change this, all we do is place another redstone torch. So now we should have three minecarts in here. So what you do is you get in, and the way this works is by a bug in Minecraft. When multiple minecarts occupy the same area of space, they will perpetually speed each other up. So what you want to do is now your station is basically complete. So you just want to hop in, face the direction you want to go, hit the back key. It will auto-correct. Whoa! This is one of the bugs. This is not a bug. This is... I forgot to put in one of the minecarts. We only had two minecarts there, so it did not work correctly. So now that uh, now that our station is done, we're going to want to add one special feature, and that is a way to get out. You'll want to put some blocks here which are not... Uh, if the minecart track is facing towards your thing, you're going to want to place something similar to repeaters, which is not as tall as a whole block, and you, thus you can reach over inside the minecart. You're going to want to place an extra minecart here, I'm just using repeaters as an example. And when you get in your minecart and you're at a station, you can simply right click on the second minecart and get out. If you simply try and get out of your minecart here, you will shove your minecarts off. And see, even unoccupied, your minecart will continue around in a circle until it has removed most of your minecarts. So now, if I look in the direction that I want to go and hit back, it will separate the minecarts to an extent, and we will go flying. This is one of the bugs that I talked about. I have not been able to recreate it since I made the first set, so what you're going to want to do in a case like this is you hit the back arrow, and as you're moving, you right click on the front minecart. I didn't succeed here, but if you manage to do that, hopefully your minecart will bounce back and move all the way around back to your station where it will re uh, wait for you. And then you can simply, uh, w when it comes back around, you're still in time. Sorry for that cutout there. The free version of Bandicam only allows 10 minute long videos. But as I was saying, you will continue around until you reach your minecart station because you're in two minecarts which are still perpetually speeding each other up. So like I said, you will find several bugs and later I'll put out some fixes, hopefully. If you find a bug, please comment and I'll see if I can figure it out. This is That Red Studio Guy, signing off.